Good morning. Welcome back to the Gratitude Incarnate Podcast. I'm your host, Amanda Rose, and this is the Daily Divine Download. So if you are a listener of the podcast, you listen on a regular basis, you will know that the idea behind these episodes is that I record one every day. And if you're a listener, you know that maybe for about the past two months, I've been recording one maybe once a week. So I want to get back into this. I want to get back into recording a podcast episode every day because it had become part of my daily routine, part of my morning routine, and it's been missing from that. And I feel that. And, you know, this is my way to give back to the world. This is my way to share my message with the world. So I'm going to just jump right into it and do just that. Just share my message for today with you guys. So lately I've been thinking about how things that happen to us in our lives, the things that frustrate us, the things that make us sad, the things that make us feel pain, the things that feel hard, we have to shift our mindset around that. This is how we learn to embody gratitude. And that's what I want to talk about today is how, you know, all of these things that happen, all of these hurdles in life, these painful moments, these hard times that we go through, they serve a great purpose for you. And I can't help but think of my martial arts training in karate. You know, you go in every week and you practice and you train. And the reason you do that is so that when you test to get your next belt, you're prepared. And a great sensei is going to teach you all of the things that you, sh- is gonna t- they're going to take all the things you struggle with and teach you how to overcome those things. Like, for example, with me, um, in karate, it's very important that when you're testing for your belt or when you're uh, competing with an opponent, you know, that you keep a straight face. You know, there's a certain way that your face is supposed to be composed. You need to have a wide-eyed stare and you need to grit your teeth or clamp your teeth together. Um, and it's important, especially when you're testing, that if you make a mistake, that you don't show it on your face. Okay, and that's something that I struggle with because, you know, I would learn something and I would, you know, fail at mastering this technique and it would be written all over my face. And that's the thing is like, you know, when you're testing, the teachers are going to be looking for those things. Okay. And you might give away a mistake you made that they didn't even notice until your face gave it away. Okay. And I was thinking about how this correlates with our lives, you know, like, Basically, everything that you've been through, all of those hard times, all those painful times, those struggles, shift your mindset into thinking that those things were training, okay? That was your training for everything else that you have to go through in life, you know? It's important when we want to be the embodiment of gratitude that we learn how to shift how we look at things, okay? Because when you stop looking at it as a painful time in your life, a hard time, a high hurdle to jump over, you know, when you stop looking at it like that and looking at it as training, okay? Yes, it was hard for you to jump over that, you know, figurative hurdle, okay? But think about what happened after you learned how to jump over it. Now, the next time you jump over it, it's easier and it gets easier and easier until one day you're jumping over over higher hurdles, okay? Or you're learning how to move through problems and go into solution mode so much easier because all the things that you've been through in your life have been training you for this. Okay, so that's what I'm going to leave you with for today. I hope that that's helpful. Remember, you're really just a simple shift away from 
being gratitude incarnate. You're just a sh simple shift away from being the embodiment of gratitude, okay? When I first started this journey, I remember it, it felt so difficult. It felt so difficult for me when I was feeling angry or frustrated or hurt that I shift into this attitude of gratitude. But every day I learn something about how to make this who I am, okay? And that's what I'm here for. So if you have anything that you've been going through lately and you feel like it's really a struggle and you're having a hard time trying to figure out how to shift your mindset around that, please reach out to me, okay? I have programs that are available to help with this, and I'm here if you just need a simple word of advice too, okay? I want to help the planet, and it doesn't matter what your budget looks like, okay? Don't hesitate to reach out to me, and I'll help you and give you the best resources that I have available, okay? So thank you for listening. Thank you for going on this journey with me, <laughs> and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a grateful day.